back at you, the back at you, the back at you, the back at you. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Oh, I'm unmuted. Darn it. Hey, Ico, rock star. Yes, 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 I'm here. Hello. Okay, okay just I'm uh, <clears throat> had a little background noise there. Yes, I've hit the recording. Oh. That started. Uh, welcome to the Wing It Call, May 5th, 2016. Just a reaffirming and re going over uh, security measures. So, that being said, I see no pasture, so I'm going to have to redneck it. Lord, please watch over all of us today. Guide my lips not to be too rednecky. Protect all of us. And most importantly, I need the most help of, of everybody. If, if you want me to do this, I need your help. So does Deacon Ico. And the disclaimer, we're not attorneys. We're not lawyers, financial advisors, CPAs. This is just our opinion, what we think is going on what we might do, and for the rest of the disclaimer, please go to the wingitcall.com for the rest of the disclaimer. So, that being said, Ico. Oh, star two to raise your hand. Star two to raise your hand. And let me see, do I have, yes I do. No, that's wants to buy me a sign. Uh, is that, that is not. Somebody has not sent me questions for the day to answer, and I don't know what's, what's up with that. So I'll, I'll have to check that in a minute. Heiko, can you, can you do that while I send out a, a text to, to inquire? Um, what do you want me to do? Just start the. Just start the ball rolling? Yes, I've got to send a text out and inquire where our questions okay. are. Okay. Yeah, so so this morning um, uh, a couple of people were talking to me about security concerns, you know, when they went to the bank, and then security concerns down the road, and I thought maybe it might be uh, a good idea to um, just review them very quickly today uh, in light of what we're hearing about over the weekend. Um and it breaks down into basically two areas. One is what do you do at your exchange immediately before, during, and immediately after concerning your own personal security and your family security. And two is what do you do after you've got all this money and how are you going to handle it? So let's take the easy one first, which is the, uh, the immediate security of doing the exchange. Um, we're going to take we're going to take a lot of questions. I want to keep this real brief. One of the things that I keep hearing people say is they want that 7500 bucks in cash when they walk out of the bank. Um, I'm just giving you my opinion, guys. Why set yourself up as a target? You know, you could, you could get done with your exchange, have that wad of cash in your front pocket, walk into the, the local, you know, coffee shop or gas station market, whatever it is, and get held up. Um, and even though comparatively it's not a lot of cash, it's enough cash to where somebody robbing you um, might take it to the next level. Um, you know, back in the back in the 80s, not so much now, but back in the 80s, when people got robbed in, in Manhattan, the uh, the muggers used to stab them in the leg just to demonstrate that it's not a good idea to follow them or mess around with them. Um, same thing happens now, especially with the prevalence of firearms. Uh, Guns go off really fast in, in situations like that. So why tempt anybody to rob you? Uh, if you pull out 50 bucks, 
That's it. It's 50 bucks. Wham, bam, thank you, man. I'm out of here. If you pull out 75 $100 bills, you got another issue. Um, now, I know it's going to be a really cool feeling to have that much money in your pocket. Maybe some of you for the first time in your life. Probably most for the first time in your life. But I, I, I just want to argue and resist the urge. They're going to probably give us a debit card with a lot of cash on it. And you know a debit card is as good as cash these days, and it's a hell of a lot safer. If somebody rips off your card, you just pick up the phone, call the 800 number, and your card is immediately frozen, and anything they charged on it is is uh, uh, taken off. You're not responsible for it. So enough said about that. Um, second, I know a lot of people, there's been a lot of rumors out there about the amount of security at the exchange centers. So let's, let's just state a few um, assumptions that are probably true. Number one, you are going to be doing this at an off-site exchange center. Number two, the bank has taken a lot of trouble to choose locations that are both defendable and secure. Um, and that means from an observation standpoint, too, one of my pet peeves is I'm worried about somebody with a good pair of binoculars taking down my license plate number from 200 yards off. You know, they're not in the parking lot. They're in a building somewhere behind a tree, you know, watching my car pull up. Now, if it's at night, you got you got some help, but what if you're exchanging in broad daylight? Um, that is an issue. So it, so it behooves us to look at alternative forms of transportation going to the site. That can be a taxi cab. That can be a rental car. Um, you don't want to have your buddy take it because then they got your buddy's license plate and they come over and rob him and get pissed off because he doesn't have any money. Um, you, you want to do it with an anonymous service. Um, uh, so, so cabs and, and, uh, and rental cars are, are, um, are a good way. There are also, if you use your head, there are some other ways that you can disguise your license plate. Uh, for for a short period of time. I'm not going to go into them in detail, but, you know, think about it. Um, there's, there's ways around this if you just if you just take your time and, and, and sort it out. Um, I don't think they're going to send us to any shady places as an exchange there. I just don't think that's going to happen. I know some people were concerned about that. Um, you know, they really have put a lot of thought in this. Um, Remember, there's liability on their side, too, for directing you to a particular place. Uh, again, think like a wealthy person. Don't think like a victim. Don't think like somebody who doesn't deserve this. Um, so when you get in, we already talked about exchanges. You do your exchange. Now when you come out, here's the next one. If you're in a cab or a rental car, if you really want to be uh, uh, think safety, Drive to the nearest mall, especially one with an underground parking garage. Let the cabbie let you off at the main entrance or park the rental car inside the garage. Go into the mall and stroll around for a while. See if anybody's following you. If you feel safe, call a friend to pick you up. Um, you know, malls always have at least half a dozen exits, if not more. Uh, so, so call a friend. Walk outside the entrance, take a look around, see if anybody's watching you, see if there's any possible way you're being surveilled. If you think you are, just use a predetermined hand signal or something with your friend, and they'll just drive by, and you'll try another entrance at another time. Um, that's one simple fix to keeping your, your getaway car private. And I know it sounds a little extreme, you know, and... and uh, uh, and, and you know what, for 99.9% .9 of us, it's going to be. But there are people who have listened to these calls and have come up with ways to rip you off. Don't think they're not out there. They are. That's just the way it goes. Um, doesn't mean you have to live your life in fear. It just means you've got to live your life smart. So that's one way to uh, get away. Um, Dad's had a great one. Uh, he said, rent a room in a hotel. So after your exchange, you go back to the hotel and you stay there overnight or during the whole day, but you stay there for a long length of time to where you can surveil the parking lot and see if anybody's in there and see if you're staying there and see what's going on. 
Um, and then have, again, have somebody pick you up, uh, uh, in, in a strange car, call a rental company and say, hey, you rent the car, is it blah, 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 blah. If I owe you a premium for picking it up, just put it on the bill because you're going to have plenty of money to put it on the bill. Um, it's the old, it's the old bait and switch car routine that every crook knows how to do. You're just employing it as a good guy. Um, and I think that's it for the moment. Uh, Carrie, you got anything to add to it? If you're in a major metropolitan area <clears throat> that's got a, a sizable airport, yeah, go, go stay at the, uh, Go stay at the uh, at the nice hotel inside the airport. Trust me, you're going to be okay there. Okay? It's because they take security extremely serious today. You know, since all airports with with Homeland, TSA, plus the airport security itself, <clears throat> that's something to think about. Oh. Hold on. Hold, please. I had too much background noise. My apologies. So star two to raise your hand. Star two to raise your hand. Today's call is only one hour long. Um, so we've got I've got a couple questions here. We're going to go like this. Can you give us a name of of some of the top security companies in the United States? I want to protect my family after we exchange. <clears throat> no, because I'm not quite sure what they are myself. We're not we're not up there in in that area to understand who they are. But I'm telling you, they're going to be there at <clears throat> at Wells Fargo. I'm sure there, there's going to be a presence there by the companies because they want to offer their services to us. I'm going to avail, of my, avail myself of those services. So that was first question. Second question, is there any way to avoid being on the millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire list? I don't know. I've never reached that status, so that's a question to ask. Third question, just so everyone is on the same page. It is a taxable event to the giver of a gift over 14k per person. No, the person receiving the money over 14k will be responsible, not you. Uh, I think we've talked about that a couple of times. And let's see. This question always comes up, and, and I'll read it, and I think we've talked about it, and then I'm not sure, but I'm going to do it after. Considering one's personal security and privacy, how important is it to set up your virtual business address to be used on all legal docs prior to your exchanging? When you go into the bank, your account, we've discussed this, and this is another thing we're going to talk about. If you're if you're with Wells Fargo, they call it a black box account. Everything that you give them will be on the inside of it, and there's only one or two people that have access, and you can say point blank or demand that you receive nothing from anybody, any advertisements, nothing from from any of the associates or affiliates of Wells Fargo, and that assures that. But one of the things that I'm going to do uh, immediately after leaving there is go down to a business executive service and so no matter what I do all my correspondence for my legal papers so on and so forth unless it's extremely important will go to that business address and they have lots of services that they offer but the, the biggest one is they can accept packages you'll have a phone number there you'll have um, a conference room, it, and you don't have to keep it for a long time, but it's a good place to start. They receive mail, check your email, send mail out for you. 
Um, if you're not there, they'll say, well, sir, this is what came in. We got, we received some packages. Yes, could you send that to me, please? And they'll send it to you. And it's, it's pretty simple. Um, and that, that gives you, um, what they call it, VPN vir virtual business app, VBA, however you want to call it. So there we go on that one. And somebody sent me a text here and it says, Oh, thank you, sir. Executive Security International. I am a graduate of them in 1980. Um, is that the one that's out of out of Colorado? If you could text me that answer, please. Because if it is, I, I had them in my bookmarking, but I I seem to have lost that one. But I bet it is. We'll find out if it. Executive Security International. I'm sure you can Google that. Google it. Uh, Aspen. Aspen, Colorado. I wonder if they have smoke at the peace pipe there and it's okay since it's legal in that state and so if you do a drug test, you're okay. Thought I'd just throw that out there, you know. Sorry, flashbacks from my younger days. You know, we all weren't perfect, and I'm I'm the biggest offender of not being perfect. Um, you want to add anything else, Ico, before we go to our three whopping callers here? No, I think I think the calls will, will open up the conversation. So. Um, first on the list. It doesn't give a city. I'm going to say your your prefix and your first name that's showing up here on the screen. Our area code is 843. Jerry, come on down. That may not be your name, but that's what it says on my screen. 843, come on down. I don't have a question, uh, Jerry. I'm sorry. I'll put it down. No, no, no. Sir, you're first on the on the list there. No question asked. Or any question to ask is not a dumb question. Please. I don't. Nice to be honest with you. Okay. All right. Our second one. This phone number looks familiar, but I'm going to go like this. Home of the world's second best barbecue, 816. Come on down. Hey Jerry and I go. How you guys doing? Good, good. I just want to ask you: there, there, there's not no limit amount on that rupee or Afghani, is it? As far as there's going to be a structure payout on those two? Not that you I know. Anything about that? Hi. Okay. How, do you know how to? Hi. How is the rupee looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. But pretty good. Yeah. And I have good. a little Afghani. Yeah, and I have a little Afghani too, because I remember last time, Jerry, you you said you had some also, but I don't hear much talk about that. So, uh, you know, I I I bought some just just to diversify. Didn't buy yeah. a whole lot of it, but I got some. I didn't even That's know what it was going to come out at. I just I just stuck it in the wife's little kitty over there. Yeah, that's the same what I do. Okay, and you guys think some sounds like something might happen by the weekend? Well, yes. That's all I need I, to know, buddy Jerry. Thank you, and I go very much. Don't drink too much of them yep. blue moons, buddy. Thank you. <clears throat> Not till after I'm back from the bank. Then it's uh, party, party. You know, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna make Animal House look pitiful when I get done. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, Seymour, Illinois, or is it Indiana? S Indiana, 812, come on down. Hello? Seymour, Indiana, I think. 812, cell phone. You're open. 
Last four of your phone number is 9473. Come on down. Okay. On to the next one. Hot Atlanta, 770. Come on down. Hello, Jerry. How you doing today, sir? Wasn't sure it was me or not. Uh, I, we've talked before, but uh, I've got uh, two questions. I, I have already spoken to my local sheriff's department, and they said they would be more than happy to escort me anywhere I needed to go. And that's just a suggestion. I'm I'm planning on using them. I don't know if I'll be riding in the car with them to the exchange centers or if I will be, uh, you know, followed by them or led by them. But, uh, oh no, but you, need, you, need a, you need to, you need to ride in the back like a prisoner. And that way they'll yeah, just think that you're, oh yeah, think about this. <laughs> Dece- that, this deception and the deceiving. It's what everybody, you know, think like a criminal. <laughs> Yeah, they won't let me in there with my cooler with the blue moon, though. And that's the second question: is what what blue moon do you drink? Just which, just which, the plain which, one. I have not found a plain one. I mean, I have found ones with different names on it, but I haven't. I didn't blue know moon, which one. Blue moon, Belgium white. Oh, the Belgium white. Okay. Yeah. I actually have. I bought a variety pack. And uh, I didn't know which one. A couple of them I didn't care for. So no, no. I that's why I, I drink just the Belgian white. I've tried some of those offshoot ones, and okay, <laughs> yeah, I get I get a hairball on those. So yeah, I've tried them, and <laughs> there you go, sir. Okay. I guess I better go with that. You yeah, have a great day, and thank you so much for your help, Ico. Hard all your all hey. your good health helpers. Yeah, listen, I want to tag on the, what, what you said. I think it's a great idea to introduce yourself to local law enforcement. Um, you don't have to get real specific with them, but just, just tell them, you know, you're, you're coming into some money, you, you're, uh, you're concerned, uh, and they'll take it, they'll take it that way. They'll, they'll take it, they'll take it from there. But I also think it's, it's best that they follow you because if anyone is following you, they're going to slow down that car. Or get rid right. of it altogether. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh but yeah, they'll they'll go to and from the rental center or the hotel, uh, whichever mm-hmm. way I design. Yeah. And uh I mean at no cost is what they're saying. They really can't take money for it. But they can't. No, but you do know what it. you do. You you know what you do? You make a donation to the Benelville and Fund, which is the fund that takes care of officers, uh, families when they fall in the line of duty. Yeah. You do I'm that, put that sticker involved. in the back of your car, and you you are ticket proof. <laughs> I've already got on the back of mine. Have you thanked a cop today? It's a it's a dead giveaway. Oh, good. I'm sucking up. <laughs> good, good. But anyway, it's all right. Uh, no, all right. It's all right. I think it's good idea and I mean there may be law enforcement agencies that absolutely won't won't help. Uh may not may not have the strength to help but yeah, uh, mine is true. already I'm a good friend with the sheriff too. So uh you know I know most of the officers and they all just overwhelm that I'm w- willing to ask them for their assistance. But they will hmm. get they will get returns on it. I've already yeah, told them that. Sure. <laughs> sure. There's many ways. All right, all righty, sir. We we only got we only have an hour, and I want to try to get as much people. All right, thank you, Jerry. All right. He's such a hard ass. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Lancaster, Pennsylvania, seven one seven. Because I'm the biggest offender of, tra- of flapping on my lips all the time, and so I have to correct myself. So I'm yeah. sorry. Lancaster, PA, 717. Do you know where Lancaster is, Ico? Of course. Where is that? Close to you? I'm not, te- I'm not telling you. <laughs> well, then in that case, I know we better exactly. go buy them. We better go buy them. Yeah, I know exactly where it is. All right, Lancaster, it's a Lancaster. 717. It's a Lancaster, not Lancaster. Well, whatever. 717, yeah. come on. Sir, ma'am, yes, that would be down. That would be me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's two of us. Um, 
Well, Jerry, you're okay as far as I'm concerned because we're going to even drink a Blue Moon in your honor. So I'm glad you clarified which flavor you use. <laughs> um, I do have a question. I was wondering if an NIB account would protect you from negative interest, if you would have any idea what that answer would be. Go ahead, Ico. I've got any. Yeah, you know, the, the, the problem is that's things have gotten very confused. Yes, um, they have. I, and, and, you know, I'm not really sure anymore. I mean, some people are saying, don't do that. Your money should be working for you the day it hits your account. And then, of course, a non-interest bearing account does protect you from capital gains taxes because um, you're not gaining any interest. Um, I, you know, it. it uh, I don't know. You know, I I don't know how to answer that. I knew how to answer that a year ago. I don't. I don't know how to answer it now. I don't feel comfortable um, uh, saying anything because of the complexity of, of, especially since the rates have increased. And people are getting more for their exchanges. That's a problem. So, um, you know, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say I don't know because I don't. Good answer. Good, good answer. answer. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thanks, Jerry. Okay. Email question. Just would like more info on how to go through the exchange of friends and family once you've signed your NDA, hoping it won't be an opportunity for them to catch you violating your NDA when you're trying to help others. Well, are you talking about when you're when you're going with them in the exchange? You shouldn't have an issue then once they put their John Doe and Jane Henry on that paperwork than everybody. And if you're there to help, it shouldn't be an issue, but I would, I wouldn't let out. Oh yeah, I got this rate just in case. I would, I would keep thy lip zipped on that if you're in there helping. Okay. I yeah, go your point, thoughts. Point of, point of process. You're going to sign the NDA before you start discussing rates because if you discussed rates and then said I'm not signing the NDA, I'm leaving. You know, you're you're free to discuss rates. So you, the first thing you're going to do is sign that NDA. Um, and then if another person who has already signed an NDA is in the room coaching you, there, there might be language in the NDA that prohibits you from doing that. You're, you're just, you're just going to have to ask when you get there if it's okay. And whatever they say, remember, it's their game. If they say, no, it's not okay for you to be in that room, then you won't be in that room. You, you can't be in that room. That's 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 just we're just not going to know until we get there. I don't know if that's in the NDA or not. Right. <clears throat> so, and here I, this is just a follow up suggestion for 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 personal security and privacy. Set up a virtual business address prior to exchanging so that your home address is not recorded by the bank or known by its employees. Further future correspondence, account statements, et cetera, which can be snatched from your home mailbox, will be more secure going to your v, VP, VBA. Uh, number two, can we request multiple check cards? Are we able to state the wheat dollar amounts we want loaded on them? Well, we've heard that they're going to give you either a debit or a credit card with 100K loaded on it from from the time you get when you get ready to leave thank you sir for your business and here's 100k to get you started till your next meeting at whatever time that is this is just what we've heard yeah but that's only at the first exchange that's only at the exchange you can right. do anything you want the day after you can set up as many accounts as you want with as many debit cards and you can tell them i want i want you know two grand a week loaded onto this debit card and I want three grand on that one and I only want that one to have a limit of $400 because maybe it's your teenage son or daughter on that one. Um, so you can do whatever you want the day after. That, that, first, that first appointment from what we're being told, you will get one debit card, which is like a, it's almost like a gift card. When it runs out, it runs out. You can't recharge it because they feel by then you'll have set up other cards. Okay, so on
I have to do something here. Forgive me. Just a little shout out in the middle of all this. Hey, girlfriends at the gym group. How you doing today? Glad you're here. Talk to you soon. Okay. Chicago, Illinois, 773. Come on down. Come on down. How you doing, Jerry? Uh, Good, good. I don't know where you went to. Oh, Go hey. ahead. Oh, there you are. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is Les in Chicago. How are you, man? Good. I question. had a question. My question oh. is, explain, um, I guess as brief as you can, how the security company works. I know when you call them, what are the arrangements that they make with you prior to picking you up and dropping you off? Do you know how that works? Well, <clears throat> uh, each security company is going to be different. What I suggest in Chicago, just hit your yellow pages or, or Google, and when the, when the time comes, ask them. You know, it, the oh, easiest well. part is the easiest part is if if you're going to use them, drive to their place, park your car there, hop in theirs, I'm, go do, go take I'm go, not go take care of business. I'm not going to need it. I'm not going to need it in Chicago. You know, everyone has a gun here. Like that. Right, and and that's the biggest <laughs> gun-free zone in the world. What's up with that? <laughs> you got that right. That's all I have for you today, man. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, I. Springfield, Missouri, four one seven. Come on down. Yeah, Jerry. Yes, sir. Uh, I was just going to ask you about this trust crap. If uh, we just want to go in and exchange our currency and put it in an interest-bearing account for about three days and then come back with a lawyer and do the trust, is that fine? I don't think they're going to let you do that, especially if you've got a very hefty, a very sizable amount in your name after you exchange. And the Zim, okay. if you hold anything over 200 T notes, you're going to be in a position where they're going to require that you go into some some type of vehicle. It's just they're 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 the boss. It's their rules, and it's for your protection and theirs. Yeah, I've got about hey, hey, I'm going I'm going to disagree with you. Okay. I'm going to say I'm going to say that they're going to force you to go into their trust uh, uh, mechanism or program with the money they are retaining for you. But the the amount you keep, you can do whatever you want with that. If you don't want to put that in the trust, you may oh, or yes, may yes. not be exposing yourself to a tax event. Yeah. You, I, I tell you, I've gotten opinions uh, 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 six ways to Sunday on that one. Because originally I'm, I wasn't going to start a trust based on based on my attorney's information from two years ago. They said I had six months to park my money wherever I wanted, and then everything would would retroact. Um, now I find out that's no longer okay. So so, so, so you're this, better off this, just grabbing their skeleton trust and then changing it. Well, they, yeah, they're gonna they yeah let yeah if you let's say you got a hundred million. They're going to want to keep 75 percent. I'm just showing these numbers out, right? So they're going to they're going to keep 75 million and put it into their their grand umbrella trust. So you're going to be in a trust with that money that the bank holds on to if you're in a structured payout. Which now nah, we don't want to get into that, but but that's what's going to happen. They're going to put you in their trust because that's the that's the nature of of their uh, investment. Um, vehicle. But the twenty five percent that you keep, that other twenty five million, you can do whatever you want with that. You may be setting yourself up for a taxable event. You may not. That hasn't been decided yet. But it's it's safer to get it into a trust as soon as possible. So that you are covered. Okay. But you know, right, everything's gonna change. Yeah. Nobody knows. Right, right. 
Okay. And uh, one other thing, I wanted to tell Jerry, I'm a good friend of Oki's, and I just wanted to thank you for what you did. The guy's been through hell for the last two years. His house has been beat up by the weather. His dog died, and he's had COPD, and then he's got this back trouble. So uh, appreciate it. Wow. So, so I, I I'm glad that you mentioned that. People, there are some people out there, and and I'm going to throw somebody underneath the bus. Bill at Winsome says that he doesn't need the money. That he's got B, VA benefits. Everything's covered. And he's okay, and that I'm I am I am uh, fleecing to Narland for the money. Do you know well, personally? Bill's full of crap because uh, Oki tried to get it done through the VA, and there's things the VA doesn't do anymore. And uh, yeah, he's had a real he's had a real rough time. I mean, it sounds stupid, but when his dog died about a year ago, that like killed the guy in yeah, an old lab it. that. That died and like killed him, but uh, no, I've known I've known uh, Oki for a long time. In fact, I think a friend of mine called you the other night, a guy named Rex. Yes. Yeah. And would yeah. you tell and, Rex to yeah. call me? At, would you have Rex call me again? Because I've had so many phone calls, I've lost his number. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can have him call. But me, me and Rex and Oaks on three ways all the time talking. So. Uh, we used to work for the well, same what, company, me and Oki, so, but, so uh, yeah, I appreciate that. But, yeah, you know how people are. In every good deed, you know, you get in trouble for it. <laughs> so you you don't know me except for on the phone call, but you talk to Oki. Would you tell everybody, because it, it's out there on the Internet already, how much that was raised by the people that donated that got sent to Oki? The last thing that I heard, and he, I don't know if this was all of it or if he's going to send more, but it was about 1500 No, so it's... So I uh, it's, don't know if there's any a, more sent or not. Yeah, we we sent him just a little over 6000 Okay, well, see, I, I haven't talked to him in a couple of days, so... Uh, but, yeah, he told me you sent any money. So, uh, yeah, it's not a, you know... You're not ripping anybody off, but uh, Rex did tell me yesterday that Oki got all of his money, and I guess you sent receipts with it and stuff like that. Well, I sent screenshots. I did Walmart yeah. MoneyGram, and I sent screenshots of that to the appropriate people out here in Dinarland. Elmer was right. one of them. Ico is another. He got he got all the screenshots, and the person with the PayPal account. He got the screenshots so that it, everything was above board. Well, he got it all, and you made him happy as a lark, and the old fart needs it. So, that's you know, that's all there is to it. Thank you, sir. So, you guys have a good day. You too. Mm, bye-bye. Next, we're, we're going to your neck of the woods, Heiko. Philadelphia, 215, come on down. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> why? <laughs> I was speaking on a call. I don't know why. I've done calls myself before. but um, Anyhow, this is a trust question with law, and I uh, don't know if you can answer it, but, um, you know, I have an irrevocable Spendthrift Trust. I've had it a while. And I'm wondering if we're going to change over to common law with the trust being uh, uh, run through, you know, what laws are in place. What happens when, if the laws change, what, what do you do? Can you have your assets be transferred to a common law trust and do you know? I don't know. I, I don't know, but I can say this much. Trusts have been around since the 1500s, and then laws were written around them. So as 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 things have changed, so has the laws, but the trusts have always been here. I hope that is an answer that will help you through. Okay, so um, with what was said earlier about the monies that would be potentially structured, would 
um, they go into your trust once they're delivered to you? And would they just be held by the bank and, and um, are they guarded by the bank? Yeah, the, whatever the bank, the percentage they hold is in their their account. That they'll take care of it and then the portion that is left goes into your trust. And that's your responsibility. So that part is guarded and there's no way that uh, we could lose that structured part? You talking about what the bank has? No. Yeah. Okay. I guess we just wait and see then. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thanks, Chair. Thank you. And there was a question in here, Iko, about um, some people were talking about how Zimbabwe said any any of the of the Zim notes are now defunct. They won't honor them. I'm believing that's in an in-country ordeal. I just wanted I wanted to hit that real quick. That was that that came out months ago. Maybe well, it's 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 circulating on the internet again. Yeah, it's just it's it's bullshit. It's more it's more fear mongering. It's more people trying to figure out things to talk about that they have no idea about. Just just ignore it. You know, <laughs> really. Um, Okay. I'm sorry to be so blunt about it, guys, but 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 it's just uh, uh, here. There's a here lot we go. Of, there's a lot of people out there saying crazy things. Seymour, Indiana, eight one two. Come on down. Hello, Gary. How you doing today, sir? Pretty good. I muted myself out earlier, and <laughs> I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Um, I was wanting you to talk about the black phone, Ico. You touched on that mm -hmm. on the last security call, and I wasn't yep. able to catch everything. Uh, well, there's a work. Uh, here, here's what I here's what I know, and and I'll also preface it by saying that that when they started that company, I don't think they had any idea of the amount of traffic they were going to attract, and it appears to be on a weekly basis. I'm seeing. I'm seeing new features, new programs coming up. But the bottom line is it's an encrypted phone that you purchase for yourself and at least one other person, for example, your banker, okay? So you guys are on a totally secure phone call. And then you can buy more phones to be on your in your program, so you can give them to your family, you can give them to your accountant, your lawyer, whoever. Um, it's expensive. The, the, the entry fee was eight grand. I think it's I think it's up to like thirteen or fourteen now. But you can go online. You can you can Google Swiss Black Phone, and you'll get the latest and greatest from them. But basically, it's your own little secure phone network. And they've branched out now into computer terminals, uh, you know, uh, uh, web hubs. I'm using the wrong terms here. But, but bottom line is you can set up your own encrypted communications network for anywhere from two people to your entire company. Um, okay. It's not cheap, now, you, but it's a good thing. Now, did you say Swiss, like S-W-I-S-S? -S? As in Switzerland, yep. Swiss black phone. Okay, that's what I. That's the part I missed the first time. And, yep. uh, and a real quick question about the uh, about the trust. I have my trust set up. It's one of the uh, master's trusts, and uh, the seventy five percent goes into the you know with the bank on the structured payout. Right. The other twenty five percent. Can I can I take an account and set up another account? inside of that trust and, and just use that twenty five percent for my for my business purposes and personal purposes? The, the, the short answer is yes. Um you gotta do it through an attorney, obviously. Uh yeah. And there's all yeah. kinds of variables. But yeah, the whole the whole idea of that trust. Think you know what? Here's what I always do. I I was I'm sort of familiar with the DuPont family. Not that I'm friends with Hank DuPont or anything like that, but I, I know a lot of the heirs in that family. And basically, 
a trust. Once that umbrella trust is set up, you can. Ico, hello. You're 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 fading in and out. Rockstar. Uh oh, he was he was driving and he might have hit that that no zone. It shows he's still on here, but uh, let's see. Now he hit the no zone, so he'll be he'll call back in in here in a minute. But <clears throat> yes, it it just talk with your attorney or your uh, tax. When I say attorney, I'm always talking about a tax attorney, not a regular attorney, because they're going to have a little more knowledge about what's going on in a financial advisor and CPA. Get your team up before you make that decision. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And let's see. Moss Lake, Washington, 509. Come on down. Hello, Moss Lake, Washington. Hello, 509. Wait a minute, he muted himself. Let me try this again. Moss Lake. Do they unmute you or what? There you Hi, go. Hi, Jerry. Okay. Yes, okay. ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm new to this, so I don't really know how to do it. Um, have, have you been question. sipping? Have you been sipping that Blue Moon again? I do drink Blue Moon, and it's very good. Good drink. Okay. Hey, now I have a question. Okay, I know, and I've been on the calls. I got this gifted to me. Um, I just want to shout out to CK Smiles. She gifted it to me, and she's on the call. Um, they're saying the 2008 Zim, if it has the three rock, that it's good, right? We're seeing rumor tell today that they're saying it's not good. It's good. Okay, it is good. Okay, that's that because that's all I have. So I was just wondering if that's if it was still good. Just people selling hits on their websites. Uh huh. That's what I thought, Ico. That's what I thought. Yeah. But I didn't want to call in because I know you. Could, okay, I knew you guys would know. But yeah. you two have a good day and hug a redneck. Hug? Uh, no, it's hug a redneck, kiss a redneck day. <laughs> okay, well, I already hugged a redneck and kissed a redneck, so I'm good to go. Thank you. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, hey Jerry. Yes, I have, sir. A, I, have a public service, I have a public service announcement. Go ahead. I don't care if I get sued. Uh, the new iPhones are pieces of shit. Do not buy them. <laughs> they, are, they are rigged to use up your, uh, uh, you know, your minutes. Your, your charges, you have to go through it and completely turn off everything. They are literally ready to suck up as much usage as possible. In addition, what they're touting is the Verizon uh, VTE or LTE network. Well, the problem is the Verizon LTE network exists, but the satellites to carry them do not exist. They have not been launched yet. So using your LTE network actually gives you worse service, worse coverage, and more problems than your old, uh, your older six iPhone or your older five iPhone had. So the entire program is one of these things where they pushed out all the hardware and pushed out all the software, and and uh, there's there's no uh, there's no coverage, there's no way to use it. So it sucks up all of your minutes, and you end up and you end up getting penalized. I think it's fifteen bucks a gig extra in each month cycle and of course you're not going to know that until you pay the 15 until you get the notice saying you got to pay the 15 bucks it's a it's a real mess if if uh as soon as the uh uh um rv goes down i'm throwing this thing in the trash actually i'll probably shoot it with a shotgun because that's, that's what i like to do with with bad pieces of equipment and then i am going to get uh either samsung or android and I am switching to all Apple, uh, excuse me, I'm switching back to Dell hardware, believe it or not, after trying Apple. I want, I, I want nothing to do with Apple. 
nothing and nothing to do with Verizon. AT&T, here I come. Of course, they'll probably do the same thing next year. But man, I'm telling you, this has been this has been the past 30 days have been hell with uh, with this uh, phone. Just Ico, Ico. Sorry, guys. You sound, Sorry, guys. You sound like a disgruntled customer. I am on a platform where Verizon might want to listen to you. God bless you for speaking up. Right, right. Yeah, like they care. <laughs> Phoenix, oh, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. I can't wait to be wealthy and meet these guys at Never. parties and say, hey, come here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. I'll Hello, Thank Phoenix. You. Thank you for indulging me. Phoenix, Arizona. 602, come on down. Hello, we can hear you. Can you hear me, Jerry? I can now. Jerry? Speak up. Yes, okay. ma'am. Quick question. Um, a while ago, I co-stated the fact that when we went into the Exchange Center, we would have to sign an NDA. I have somebody that is in this program, an elderly person, and that person does not have very much. She will not be taking the larger amounts. She'll be taking the international rate. That statement does not hold to her, correct? Well, we heard it holds true for anybody trying to exchange them. Um, even if she would take three cents, five cents. Oh, that's interesting. You know, nothing, nothing well, big failure, but to try it. Uncle going, Tony used to say. Okay, she's never going yeah. to take the larger amount. She's right, very elderly, right. eighty. Right. She doesn't right. Well, want then, a large. Then it, then it, then it. I'm going to say, when you're in there, these are questions to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I just didn't want her going in there and then having the embarrassment of walking out. Yeah, but but you know what? That's a that's a lot that's a logical uh question. If if I want to take below what the going rate is, do I have to sign an NDA? Okay. That, you know, you, you could try it. What the heck? You know? Okay. And at the exchange centers, are there going to be just representatives for Wells Fargo? Or will there be representatives for other banks, Chase, B of A. Oh no, no, because no, you're going no. you're going to a Wells Fargo redemption center. Okay. Okay. One time we all were right. told all oh, there'd be okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So we are going to go to the Doobie Capital of the USA, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 719, come on down. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Thank you. How are you, how uh, you doing today? Well, I'm all right, and I'm straight as an arrow, too. Actually, the uh, the Doobie Center is about 60 miles north in Denver and Boulder, and down here we're not quite so bad. Anyhow, uh, the question is, I am part of a sort of a community of people, all of whom are invested and um, we're not through each other, but just we're all associated with each other. And uh, will the signing of the NDA for any one of us, or actually we'll probably all wind up signing our own NDAs, will that preclude the possibility of us being able to sit down as, as friends and discuss our accomplishments and our exchanges? Because we all have essentially the same NDA? Um you may not get the same rate as your friend and they and or the other person or you you all could possibly get the same i just don't want you talking about the rate so what you do in private with no microphones and no cameras mm -hmm. cannot be traced okay all right and no smoke in the air yeah. well cigar yeah. smoke a, a, a good it, mac and noodle works work great you you guys might be able to come up with an additional document that covers those concerns, uh -huh. you know, and have it and have it legally drawn up that you are you are the member I don't know or whatever Club X Y Z, uh, and set yeah. out all of the set out all of the criteria for membership in the club, um, and restrictions on on uh, membership meeting notes and things like that. I got 
one of, one of the things we're all going to find um, is with this type of wealth, there are there are ways of doing things that we have never been privy to. Um, so hire a good attorney and, and start asking the questions and see what they come up with. I, I wouldn't right. rule it out, you know. Okay. I wouldn't rule it out. All right. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yep. And uh, I, I, like everybody else, I have to say this. I appreciate everything that you do for us. So many of us would be utterly lost in the woods. Um, and, you know, a few of us might uh, might do really well, but what you're doing is making it possible for all of us to do really well. And it's very appreciated. So thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, no, no, no doobie smoke intended on my part towards you. It's just I know that Colorado is no. is the haven I know. for the – yeah. Well, I'm, 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 I've just turned 73. I think I'm a little old for that. Um, I, I, I just get high every morning getting out of bed. So. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Like, like Hume Cronin says, nothing beats a good bowel movement. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a question of timing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Fifth grade humor. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate your time. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh-huh. Okay. And and I agree with Ico. <clears throat> I just went don't, through this little ordeal. Don't date us. Don't date us, Jerry. Don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> so now we're getting pretty close to the cutoff time. We are going to the Mormon capital of the USA, Utah, four three five. Come on down. I'm an equal opportunity picker. Utah. Jerry? Cell phone. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you today? I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm no longer backed up. You're, I feel better. I'm glad to hear that. Appreciate you taking my call. Thank you very much. Um, I had a, a couple questions. I think I know the answer to one of them. I just wanted to confirm it. Um. My understanding that with the $100 trillion notes, they'll drop the six zeros. With billion notes, they'll drop three zeros. So, in essence, I get to the bank, a $100 trillion note will exchange the same as a $100 million note. Is that correct? Yep. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. I appreciate that confirmation. Thank you. Now, secondly, uh, you can indulge me. <laughs> um, I have not yet set up a trust. I plan to set up multiple trust foundations and whatnot, um, but have not done so yet. I do have uh, a C Corp uh, business account with Wells Fargo, and I'm I'm a little bit uneasy going in and and uh, participating in the in the bank's trust that they have established. I was wondering what your thoughts might be on on just uh, make my deposit utilizing the, the Seed Corp uh, account for a short period of time and then transferring from there into the foundations. I have a nonprofit foundation, everything that would be transferred would be uh, tax deductible. That makes sense Jerry, to you at all. Can I answer that? Jerry, please, please. Here's so so. I'm not an attorney. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a tax expert. Right. My attorney told me three years ago when I got into this because that's what I said. Listen, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have my LLC, you know, file this currency. And I'm gonna and, and it'll be a non tax event, blah 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 blah. And he said, That's not true because my LLC and my S Corp were specifically set up to do construction projects of a specific type. And that's what they've been doing for the past twenty two, twenty three years, these latest right. corporations. So the IRS is gonna look at that and say, uh 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 
not okay. Um, you'd actually do better starting another trust before you go in or or to win it immediately after. Remember remember if you're if you're if you're uh, exchanging Zim, some large percent of that is going to be absorbed into the Wells Fargo trust to begin with. Right. So before you before you get your first dividend check from them, you want to have a trust set up so that money goes into the trust. Exactly. And and that's yeah. exactly what I'm planning is, yeah. is yeah. just and if you, pretty much yeah, walk you, out of the bank and get with our financial team and, and you get got it. You got away it. immediately. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's yeah. Un, what's un, what's unclear is and maybe you know, again, I heard this once, I don't know if it's true. What I heard was as long as you don't if if you take that other twenty five percent, let's call it, all right, for argument's sake. If you put that into an account and you do not take a distribution, in other words, you don't take any money out of that account until your other trust is set up and that money is then, is then uh, uh, whatever it's called, bequested, whatever the legal term is, to that trust, you may be okay again on a taxable event or you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna severely limit your tax liability. Now right. I am not sure of that, but but that's that feels logical to me. Um, you know, the IRS is all about intention. They have to if if you have an attorney, I mean, first of all, you never talk to the IRS without an attorney because they just eat you alive. I don't care who yeah. you are, they just eat you alive. So go out, get an attorney, have the attorney start tackling this stuff. You're going to get your best deal, and. And my God, even if you ended up paying 15% on 25% of that money, if you're exchanging Zim, it's almost like shame on you for complaining. I mean, I don't want to say that because we all right. have our, you know, yeah. we all have our our viewpoints on that. But but uh, this this isn't the monumental disaster that everybody seems to think it is. It's just, you know, it's part of the game, and and quite frankly, part of the blessing that we've been given. This well, sure. any anything we can come up with so out so under the blessing so outweighs any negatives that we can come come up with. Um, you know, it's it's uh, you know I don't want to say it's laughable because it because different people have different thresholds. Um, but right. it really it's 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 not going to ruin your life. I can guarantee you that. At least not from a financial standpoint. It's not going to ruin your life. I, no, I kind of no. view it the same way as, as paying tithing to the church. It's hundred yep, percent yep, more it. money anyway, you know. So, yep. yeah, who am I to and, and hopefully our tax dollars are going to start actually doing things for us again. Right. right. You know, under the asset-based system, we'll, we'll actually be yeah. getting something for our money. So, okay. Anyway, off my soapbox. So. All right. Thank you, sir. Certainly appreciate it, you gentlemen. You're be very blessed. Welcome. Have a good afternoon. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, bye. So it, it's been an hour. We'll take one more caller to offset the time I was flapping my gums in the beginning, and we're going to go to Jacksonville, Florida, 904. Come on down. Good afternoon, most redneck Reverend Jerry and Deacon Ico. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you, my son. Bless you. <laughs> I don't have to go Sunday, but thank you for the public service announcement. Uh, Deacon Ico, uh, you know how you get when you're hungry. Have a Snickers. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And grab a Yingling. If you're a Pennsylvania boy, grab a Yingling. That's Here we true. go. I know you guys have both asked your law enforcement friends this, and I believe you're going to hire law enforcement or security. How far can they go with you, let's say attached at the hip, in the redemption center or bank can they be everywhere you are in your presence for your protection you desire let let me mm. answer this one let me answer this one so security starts seven miles out coming and going from the redemption center and i'm sure if you have personal security like that that wherever Wherever we end up at, I'm sure they're going to have bigger guns and bigger bullets, and they'll say, 
Thanks for escorting to this point. We've got it. Wait here, and we'll bring you back when he's done. Okay. And in this situation inside the building, can your personal security be armed if they are law enforcement professionals? I don't think they're going to allow them inside the building. They'll just say, wait right here. Because okay. inside that building, inside that building, I, I'm I'm quite sure it's not going to be quite as secure as Fort Knox, but with all of that physical currency on hand, they want to make sure. Yeah, and they also, they, they have, uh, they, they've, they've got three drills. If something happens inside the building, you know, system A takes, takes place. If, if it's around the perimeter building, the other, the other guys have precedent. That's when nobody shoots each other. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's how they're going to work. I mean, that would make sense there's... to work it that way. I didn't want to have an assumption. That's why I said attached to the hip wherever I go. They're not just going to stand outside and, hey, I'll catch you on your way out. You know, thanks. You know, you. Well, I don't leave. think they're, I personally don't think they're going to let them enter the building because that is that is personal space that has already been secured by by the security that's there. And I really don't believe they're going to let them pass that point. They're going to have to wait in the car. Unless they surrender their weapon. Then they might be let in as the, as the second uh, part. Yeah, but then they'll have to sign an NDA, and I don't think they want to let, it, let them oh, in yeah, that part. That's part. right. You're yeah. right. You're that's right. why I and, figure most the security we might hire is going to be someone we know and might have a maybe a, an idea of what they're doing for a transport or and or security to this event. So am I correct? You pretty much are going to know your law enforcement professional. Is that what you're intending? Well, I'm talking about if you hire somebody to escort you there and, and stay on your hip, I'm addressing that question. They're going to get to the point A where you step out of the car and they're going to say, welcome to the Redemption Center, sir. Who are you? I'm his personal security. Wait right here. We've got it from here. Got it. Got it. Question two, and any update on if the bank or redemption center is going to videotape us or audio tape us? I remember you mentioned you were going to bring in a tape recorder. Is that going to be allowed? Any update on that scenario? I'm taking my I heard home with take, me. I tape the exchange. Yeah. Yeah. I heard, I heard the bank's going to tape the exchange. That's as much but for Jerry, their protection you, as yours. But Jerry, weren't you going to bring in an audio recorder also? Yeah, if I have to, I'll put an app on my phone. All right, that's all my question. And uh, thank the Dinar community, or I should say the Blessing community, thanks you for what uh, you did for Oki in this situation. It's great reciprocation. Uh, you're a good man. Both of you are good men. Thank, well, thank you. you very much. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Get an amen. Thank you. Amen. Well, that that is it for the call today. Ico, sum it up. And then I'll uh, I will kick us to the curb. Um, yeah, everybody, just 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 relax and and realize that the, the banks are there to help us at this stage. I don't know what's going to happen down the road, but the exchange thing—they're trying to make it as simple and easy as possible. They're trying to give us the most money they can because. Selfishly, it helps their bottom line as well. So don't go in there full of fear. Don't go in there thinking they're going to they're, they're going to try to rip you off. They're not. Um, you know, you got we we, we got to have we got to have some faith here. We got to see what this has what this has turned into. This is this is more than just currency speculation. Now this is you know this is this is your fellow uh, man's well-being speculation. Um, it's uh, it's become quite a different uh, outcome than we first imagined. So, you know, we are we are being blessed, and you all know I'm not a religious person, but I'm saying that uh, in 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 every way. Um, this is an incredible, incredible thing that we stumbled into, and we're going to walk out of it shining like uh, like no new penny. Excuse me. Yep. We're going to be shining that's like it. a new penny. Like a new penny. Yep. <clears throat> okay. That. Here we go. Lord, thank you for taking care of us today. 
Thank you for giving us an understanding heart, which we need. I desperately need. I need your help. I've said it before. Not that I want. I demand that you give me guidance in this because I do not want to be the the one slave that buries the one talent in the dirt. This is this is his will, his his money. I'm just trying to be a good steward. So Lord, please bless us in your name. Amen. So that that being said, thank you once again, everybody, for their participation. So Iko, say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. The conference is now completed. Goodbye.